Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Mehek Bhatia. I'm an assistant professor of mathematics from Department of Science at St. Xavier's College, Jaipur. Today, I'm going to discuss about the differential equation in which we include what the differential equation is, what are the different types of a differential equation that we deal with, and what are the different methodologies is used to solve the given differential equation. An equation which contains a derivative along with the variables is defined as a differential equation. In mathematics, we normally deal with the two types of a differential equation that includes a partial differential equation and an ordinary differential equation. The partial differential equations are the equations in which we assume that there is a one dependent variable with respect to which a derivative is done with more than one independent variable, whereas in Ordinary differential equation, there is a one dependent and only one independent variable. For example, if we have a function of f of an x and a y, in partial differential, uh, differential equation, we, the derivative of x with respect to y will consider to be zero if we are finding the partial differential equation with respect to y, whereas in the ordinary differential equation, the derivative for both the variables retain in the equation. These are the certain examples of a differential equation in which y double dash represents a derivative of a function y with respect to x, y dash represents a single derivative of function y with respect to x, whereas y and the y are representing a normal differential equation or the normal variables. In the partial differential equation, we have the following example like sine of an xy plus 3xy under which we are differentiating the equation with respect to y. So, x variable is considered to be as a constant. For example, del upon del y sine of an xy plus 3xy. Here, the differentiation of sine xy would be cos xy, whereas the differentiation of 3 of an xy will be considered as a 3x as we are differentiating the equation with respect to y. So, the variable x is considered to be the constant and treated as a constant in case of a partial differential equation. Next, we talk about the order and the degree of the given differential equation. The order of a differential equation is the number of a time a variable is being differentiated with respect to the independent variable. The highest power of that particular derivative is known as a degree of a given differential equation. Here, one important thing to note is that the degree of a given differential equation can never be a fractional value. If it is a fractional value, then we need to convert by using a loss and exponents into a normal whole numbers. Here are some of the examples of the degree and the degree in the order of a given differential equation. For example, in the first case, here the number of a time a variable z is being differentiated with respect to the variable x and y is 1. So, for the first example, we have the degree is 1 and the order is 1. Whereas, for the second example, the equation is being differentiated thrice. So, the order of a degree will be 3 and here in this, the degree of a given differential equation will be 1. Most of the times, it is being assumed that degree is 2 because it is the highest power in this particular differential equation. But in the case of a differential equation, we always consider the power for which a derivative is highest, only those power is considered. Next, we come on to the homogeneous functions. The homogeneous function is the one in which the degree of all the variables in a given differential equation is the same. What we mean by the same, here we have a degree of a variable x as 2, the degree of a y as 2. Whereas the degree of a x and a y, if you combine it together, the degree of x is 1, the degree of y is 1. Combining together give it, gives us a degree 2. So the de degree of a given differential equation and the given homogeneous function is 2 here. To solve this differential equation of a homogeneous function, we have a particular method that is known as the Euler function, which is defined by del f upon del x multiplied by x, del f upon del y multiplied by y equal to nf, where n represents the given of a, the degree of a given differential equation. Here we have a three methods to solve the differential equation. The first one is the substitution method, the second is the separable method, and last one is the integrating method. In the substitution method, we often uh, replace a variable y with the some homogeneous function, for instance, y is equal to vx. 
putting the values of y equal to vx in the entire equation we convert that function into the homogeneous function and by separating it and using our integral formulas we evaluate the solution for the given differential equation second is the separable form and most often it is being observed that the variables are simply being separated so in that case by simple by simply separating the variables will give the solution of a given differential equation whereas lastly is the integrating factor in this we assume that there will be a e to the power x and by integrating that variable we evaluate the solution of a given differential equation next comes a non homogeneous differential equation the non homogeneous differential equation are the one in which the degrees of the variables are not the same whereas in the homogeneous function we have a same degrees of each and every variable in the equation thank you